climate change is affecting the distribution of all species on the planet. Some are decreasing to the point of extinction, while others may shift or even expand their distribution areas. Climate change will impact both snakes and people. Negative impacts on snakes can lead to negative impacts on people by displacing snakes. The loss of snakes in one country has negative consequences for people. For example, snakes play a crucial role in controlling other organisms, such as rodents, which can cause various diseases. If snakes die out or if their population reduces, there could be disease outbreaks. Snake venom is economically valuable too. The venom of snakes is used in making many medications for cancer, neurological diseases, treating high blood pressure and heart problems. So the loss of snakes would mean the loss of products with high pharmacological value for countries. The expansion of distribution areas for some venomous snake species can lead to public health problems though. Often, the only cure for a snake bite is specific antivenom for that species. As a consequence of climate change, some species may cross political barriers, leading to snake bite incidents in countries they did not previously inhabit and where specific antivenom is not readily available. Most snake species, especially those associated with tropical forests, will decrease in number as the climate becomes unfavorable for them. A few species, however, will expand the area in which they live because a favorable climate will exist in other locations and they will find it. Climate breakdown is likely to lead to the large-scale migration of venomous snake species into new regions and unprepared countries. The researchers forecast that Nepal, Niger, Namibia, China and Myanmar will gain the most venomous snake species from neighboring countries under a heating climate. Low-income countries in South and Southeast Asia, as well as parts of Africa, will be highly vulnerable to increased numbers of snake bites, according to the findings published in the journal Lancet Planetary Health. A global group of scientists has predicted that climate change may cause dramatic movements in venomous snake populations across many countries in Africa. The scientists took into account climate change predictions about changes to the current habitats of 209 venomous snakes and mapped where those environments were found elsewhere. Based on this, they predict that snakes were likely to migrate to those African countries whose environments remain suitable for snakes after 2070. This could modify the dynamics of snake bites across Africa. The study found that majority of the venomous snake species will experience range contractions due to loss of tropical and subtropical ecosystems Habitats for some species, such as the West African Gaboon Viper, will increase by up to 250%. The ranges of the European Asp and the Horn Viper were also forecast to more than double by 2070. However, some snakes, including the Variable Bush Viper endemic to Africa and the Hognose Pit Viper of the Americas, were projected to lose more than 70% of their range. As more land is converted for agriculture and livestock rearing, it destroys and fragments the natural habitats that snakes rely on. However, some generalist snake species, especially those of medical concern, can adapt to agricultural landscapes and even thrive in certain crop fields or livestock areas that provide food sources like rodents. Research shows that when venomous snakes start showing up in new places, it's a wake-up call for us to start thinking about how we can keep ourselves and our environment safe. The World Health Organization estimates 1.8 to 2.7 million people are bitten by venomous snakes each year, causing up to 138,000 deaths and at least 400,000 amputations and permanent disabilities. The WHO categorized snake bite and venomation as a neglected tropical disease of the highest priority in 2017. Researchers are now finally getting a better handle on how snakes will change their distributions with climate change, but there is also a major concern that they will bite more people if warm temperatures, severe wet weather events, and flooding that displaces snakes 
and people get more frequent. We urgently need to understand better how exactly this will affect where people get bitten and how many people get bitten so that we can prepare. Snake bite is in essence a human animal environment conflict. The modeling does not take into account how humans themselves will adapt change to climate change. But the global study addresses a significant gap in knowledge. The need for countries with high snake bite burden to collaborate with neighboring countries is something that the new study underlines. After all, international borders are not for snakes, they are for humans. Global measures to strengthen science, research and conservation policies are needed. Climate change is mainly driven by human activities. Pollution by high-income countries in the Northern Hemisphere has been the main contributor to climate change, but its impacts are felt globally, especially in regions of high biodiversity like Africa. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.